If we could figure out how to establish a permanent presence on the moon, that's going to help us explore further into the universe. Jess Atkin is taking her passion to the stars. After retiring from the Air Force, the PhD student went from looking at the skies to the ground. We are growing crops for food production in lunar regolith simulants, which is basically moon's equivalent of dirt. Moon dust isn't exactly great for crops. The moon system is very different than what's happening on Earth, and so one of the big things that happens on Earth is that we have life. Amelia Wolf with UT Austin says that one of the major problems with moon dust is what it lacks. Nitrogen and tiny microbes plants need to thrive. This dust at this point is sterile, so it doesn't have any of these microbes. Soil comes in a wide variety here on Earth, like this soil sample from Valverde, which isn't the best for growing. Meanwhile, this sample from the Wildflower Center here in Austin, a little better. The elements that are in lunar regolith are generally inaccessible to plants in the form that they're in. Atkin is turning to seeds coated in fungi to bring life to moon dust, testing it out on a moon dust made in labs on the earth. The crops matter too. Chickpea, because it's able to form relationships with microorganisms and it actually actively recruits these relationships. Chickpeas could also provide protein to astronauts and restore nitrogen to the dead moon dust. Our hope is by the end of this to have it turned into a lunar soil. Soil that could be used for more crops in the future.